Hello and welcome to Dome Candy Games Nostalgia Lobe. This is the section of my dome that revels in nostalgia. In this segment I'll be talking about retro video games through the lens of how I experienced them at the time. It's more about my personal history with the games and I intend for the videos to be shorter and feel more off the cuff. So what was it like to play the Need for Speed back when it was new? Well, actually it was like this. This HP was my family's PC at the time, complete with Windows 3.1, and it was a little underpowered to run such a cutting edge game, so I had to run the Need for Speed in low res to have any sort of decent frame rate. Not only that, but for some reason the game couldn't detect my sound card during installation, and as a result, my earliest memories of playing the game were of playing the game with just the hum of the computer fan and the click of the hard drive. On top of that, my monitor was dying and it made the game appear much darker than it should have been. It made games like Dark Forces or Tomb Raider difficult to impossible to play. But for NFS, it really just made the roads look textureless. So, for about a year, this was NFS for me. Even so, it was still better than anything else out there. Finally, I was able to get the sound working by manually adding a set blaster line in the automatic execution or autoexec.bat file on my computer. I couldn't believe how awesome the sound I had been missing out on was, and I felt like a freaking master hacker when I finally got it to work. Ah, the simple pleasures of DOS gaming. Back in the day, the Need for Speed was the go-to PC game for me and my best friend. You might know him as Nerf Ninja. We would play for hours, not really racing, but crashing the cars and trying to get the craziest replays. We'd save and name replays based on the type of crash, or sometimes the number of crashes, or just how much monetary damage we thought the crash had done, I guess? It didn't take long for us to amass a huge library of awesome replays. We also had pretty detailed knowledge of which cars made the best crashes and just how to hit them to enact the maximum level of aerobatic insanity. I think we've done it all in NFS, and by the time we had moved on to other games, we had stood most of the cars in the Need for Speed on end. What you're seeing now is a choice group of these replays that still exist today on my computer. I would save them and move them to new systems throughout the years. That said, some of these crashes were made when I was 11 or 12 years old. I was a 10 year old car nerd with posters of Lamborghinis and Ferraris lining the walls of my room when the Need for Speed came out in 1995. I couldn't wait to buy the game when I saw it and it became an instant favorite of mine when I did. In fact, I've personally logged more time playing the original Need for Speed than any other racing game ever made. It was very influential on me as a kid and even today when I'm busy playing Forza Horizon 2, I can't help but track down all the classic supercars from NFS and paint them how they looked back then. The red Supra, the silver NSX, the blue Viper, the colors are burned into my memory as much as the cars themselves, and I can't bring myself to add decals or stripes that would take away from the look. That's all for this episode of Dome Candy Games Nostalgia Lobe. Let me know what you thought of this video format for short form supplementary videos to my review videos. And let me know if you guys have any memories of playing the Need for Speed back in the day, or any of the Need for Speed games, really. And feel free to check out some of these other links.
Thank you for watching Dome Candy Games, because video games are like candy for your dome.